Hi, today is a big day. I am releasing version 0.99 and you can ask yourself or ask, ask me why it's not v1.0 and that is that well it is always work in progress. That's a fact of life with software and you all know about that. So the thing is that I am releasing a stable version. It's a trial version and it's going to be free until the end of the year. I have no problem extending the free version, but by end of the year, I'm going to add the registration and I am going to add something I think is quite valuable and that is Vault Surface. There are a few things also in the pipeline. I want to add um, support for uh, trading the underlying or a proxy for it. For example, if you want to do a covered call on SPX and you want to buy the underlying, it can be SPY or the ES Future, all that will be added. So there's still more to come before V1.0 by December 31st. So without further ado, as you can see, this is my demo account on which I've been doing a lot of beta testing. And this is the SOAP V0.99 I'm launching now, as you can see, trial version. What you can also see is that I've streamlined the coding and it is very fast. The watch list is also something I'm going to change as I add support for the underlying. So, you will also see your position, for example, if you have some SPY or ES on an SPX combo, options combo. So something that to familiarize yourself with the software is maybe you know that if you press the question mark, you have access to all the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm pressing one for SPX. Uh, here I have actually, as you can see, uh, removed a few things that are not essential for the software. So what is important is what is in bold here. I mean, all the settings I have been prepared. So all you need to do is basically select an expiration or two or three, and then a strike interval. Uh, something that you don't often see on other platforms is that you can have several, and it will autom automatically display the strikes uh, for, let's say you want, 10 and 25, you'll get all the 10 and 25 points strikes intervals. Simple. It may not look simple at first. One reason is that, of course, there's maybe too much on this kind of form, but that these are cosmetic details, like, for example, those panels here. I'm going to add what we call a split container tool so that you can, you know, uh, reduce or increase part of that form or screen. So now going back to shortcuts, I'm going to select the December expiration. So I press F2 and I'm going to go for 25 point strikes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Shift F6. Now if I press confirm, it calls data automatically and you just have to wait a bit before the metrics can be displayed. The thing is that I, I figured out that if you allow access to the metrics too early and sometimes you get some uh, temporary errors or warnings but I mean it's just simple as you can see it's fast enough so here's the matrix some would like to see the matrix where the puts and calls separated uh, that may come I don't see that as a major issue and when you learn new softwares you sometimes have to change your habits a bit so here I'm not going to put a simulation, I'm going to press T for the trade list. It goes to the trade lock, not the trade list. So I'm going to press T list and here I'm going to load my current Rhino. Okay, I don't need to load it in a trade lock since it's already there. I could have opened it straight from you know, Windows like the file, but I find it simple just to let SOAP do it for me. So now we've got executions here. I've already shown a previous video that you can play around, select, deselect, or even just load what you want up to a certain date. For this simple example, I'm just going to load the full T log. And here, I don't know why it shows rat. It should be SPX. And I can now load it to the, I can load it now to soap. It's into the matrix. This is my current profit. This is, I've already shown in a previous video that it's exactly the same as on one. So 
of course back to the T log you can choose not to have the commissions but I mean it's better to have a realistic view so the commissions are here included so I press G now for the graph and you have your trade so as you can see it's maybe a slight change of habits but at the same time it's quite easy I mean I've tried to follow I'm a trader a developer but I'm also a trader I'm a coach but I'm also a trader and um, I'm not saying that there won't be some changes maybe to have this scale is a bit silly I should round up you know, all those cosmetic details will be ironed out by the time it comes to uh, v1.0 to me they're not important but they may be important to you I still want to make sure that we have a kind of a direct connection it's not like a firm where you have to contact support place a ticket and this and that no I have developed this part of a community I'm not saying that I'm not going to build my own community why not but most initial users know me personally they can talk to me on Skype they can uh, con connect with me directly on Slack and that's the way I like it so I'd like to keep it that way try it play around with it there will be a few things I'm going to improve for sure and I really welcome your feedback comments feature requests so that we make this a not only a very inexpensive tool the regular price will be below forty dollars a month so it's gonna be a tool for everyone but I, I, I want to really maintain this connection this contact so that we together build a better option analysis program I'd like to say it's simple in one of my presentations, I say, well, you know, the more feature I add to it, it may end, it end up being um, still so, but as smart options analysis platform. That's the goal. Let's be ambitious. You know, when we are traders, we want, we want the best. Rome wasn't built in one day. I'm just going to keep working on it. But I really appreciate that you come back to me and we'll build this together. Okay. Thanks for watching and see you around. Bye for now.